ready to the top. Give me a break, I'm looking forward. Get behind me, pull out every stop. I want a happy ending, I'm tired of pretending. Won't let them get the best of me. Whoa, 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 give me a break. Look at all that hair Ted Koppel has. <laughs> Is that a man under that hair? <laughs> Girl, I thought that was a sheepdog reading the news. Hey, Samantha, come on, fat so get up, get up. It's time to go to bed. You too, Julie. Who could that be? Well, either your father forgot his keys or <laughs> Billy D. Williams finally came to his senses. <laughs> It's Valerie. Hi! Valerie, God, it's good to see you. You too. Oh. Hey, Julie, square Here, let me take your coat. Thanks. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> never mind. I can see how you are. Boy, are you fat. She's pregnant, dummy. Either that or she's smuggling beach balls. <laughs> Val, you'll be a great mother. Come on in and sit down. I can't believe you're here. It's yeah. really great. But you know what really teased me off? What? I wasn't invited to the wedding. Neither was I. <laughs> I've got this crazy feeling that you and Katie and Nell would like to be alone. Maybe it's because I'm pulling on your bathrobe. <laughs> Thanks, Jewel. Valerie, how did this happen? Look, I know you're not going to believe this, but on my way home one night, I got mugged by this stork. <laughs> Come on, I mean, when? Who was it? You remember my boyfriend, Jonathan? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, when he decided to reach out and touch someone, he didn't say it with flowers. <laughs> Doc, where have you been? Your parents told Katie that you were away at boarding school. Yeah, well, the truth is I moved in with Jonathan after they threw me out. Your parents threw you out? Hey, I know how to get them back. Listen, let's put a chimpanzee in a baby buggy, roll it by the door and pretend it's yours. <laughs> I just never dreamed this would happen. Oh, honey, those are famous last words. Right up there with the, uh, oh, don't worry, Mr. Lincoln. I hear it is a great play. <laughs> My folks aren't talking to me. His folks aren't talking to him. He's still trying to get through school and keep his job at the grocery store. Well, well what does he do in his spare time? Uh... Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't want to marry someone who's doing it because he thinks he has to. Oh, uh, so you left him, huh? Yeah, tonight. Katie, I was wondering if you could lend me a couple bucks for cab fare. I'm a little short right now. Wide, but short. <laughs> of course I will. Thanks. But honey, why would you need cab fare? Well, I'm gonna be staying at a little motel down on 8th Street. A motel? Forget it. Look, you're staying right here. I've got a rollaway bed in my room. Katie, thanks. No, 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 Katie is right. You're looking at two very beautiful, stubborn women. <laughs> you guys are the best. We know that. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be fine. Yeah, you'd be surprised how understanding and compassionate the chief is, especially when we're twisting both of his arms. <laughs> Come on, honey, let's get you and his baby upstairs. Okay. Oh! Whoa. Oh! <laughs> Morning. Morning. Hi. Sit down, I'll get some plates. How'd you sleep? On my back. <laughs> No, we're out of napkins. Oh, that's just great. Now I got to cover your daddy's belly with a beach blanket. <laughs> I'll just run down to the corner and pick up some more, okay? I'll go with you. I'll protect you from the box, boy. <laughs> hey, why are you there? Would you buy some animal crackers? Your daddy's always in a good mood when he's biting the head off a tiger. <laughs> Bye. Bye. What's all the... Hey, 
Hey, look who's back in town. How are you, Valerie? I'm just fine, Mr. Kaniski. Oh, it's <laughs> good to see you again. You know, it's been a long time since I saw you last. Mm -hmm. What have you been doing? Oh, just hanging out. <laughs> I've never liked a lot of Katie's friends, but I always liked you. Oh, well, thanks. Can I get you some coffee? Oh, yeah, thank you. You're thoughtful, you're polite, you're respectful. You know, Katie, you could do a lot worse than to try to be a little bit more like that. <laughs> Valerie? Are you gonna have a baby? See there, you just cannot fool that trained police officer's eye. Yeah, Mr. Kaniski, I'm gonna have a baby. Hey, that's terrific! You think so? Well, of course I do. Congratulations. Well, thank you. Uh, your husband is one lucky man. Uh, Dad... Hey, I... come on, get off your feet. Uh, Mr. Kaniski, there's something I should probably say. And you know, I really envy your father and your mother. They must be pleased as anything to know that a little grandchild is on the way. Boy, you women get so moody when you're pregnant. You should try it yourself sometime. <laughs> Valerie's poor husband is gonna have a handful. Chief? Valerie doesn't have a husband. What? Valerie's not married. Ah, oh, the poor kid. How long has she been a widow? <laughs> Valerie's not a widow. Divorced? <laughs> Separated? <laughs> you mean that little baby's gonna be a... Any day now. <laughs> I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Chief, 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 chief. What do I have to do to prove it to you? Let you shake the baby's hand? What the hell has happened to that girl? Do you want me to draw you a diagram? If she'd used the diagram, she wouldn't be pregnant. Chief, she's just a nice kid. A nice kid who's going to have a baby. Where's the father? Okay, they had a fight and broke up. Yeah, they couldn't have made war first and then love, and we wouldn't have been in this mess. <laughs> I wonder what her poor mom and dad feel about all this. Well, they threw her out. Well, they had no choice. She committed a sin. <laughs> Chief, everybody makes a mistake. Look, I came to work for you. A pregnant woman shouldn't be here. Not with my innocent teenage girls. Well, um, I got news for you. We told her she could stay. Absolutely not. No chance. No way. No how. Thank you for your vote. You lose four to one. <laughs> Look, why don't you show everybody what a nice guy you are and give the girl a helping hand. Come on. All right, all right. She can stay, at least for a while. You know, Chief, if I thought you were strong enough to handle it, I would kiss you. <laughs> a little while. Now, what's the story about this baby? Who's the father? Well... Uh... His name is Jonathan Grant, I think, and uh, they were living together. Yeah, and the creep refuses to marry her, huh? No, I think what Jonathan wants... I know what Jonathan wants. You don't have to tell me. He wants to fool around without shouldering any of the responsibility. That's what he wants. Chief, please don't start one of your sermons on what's wrong with the kids of today, please. What the hell is wrong with these kids today? <laughs> It's all like rock and roll and, 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 and that Pac-Man and those designer jeans. <laughs> Tell you what, I'd like to meet this, 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 this Jonathan guy. 
I'd give that punk a good lecture about morality and, and responsibility and, and basic humanity, and then I'd tear his head off. <laughs> Yeah? Uh, I hope I'm not disturbing you. I'm Jonathan Grant. Is Valerie here? Why do I feel like someone just put a match in a gas tank? Come in. So you're Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. I'm Nell. <laughs> uh, this is Chief Kaniski, uh, Katie's father. Hi. Pleased to meet you. I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, take it easy, Chief. I sent the electric chair out to be clean. Uh, Val is upstairs, and I can't promise you anything, but I will tell her that you are here. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, could you bring her these? Oh, how nice flowers. Uh, no, no. They're uh, carrots and uh, broccoli and leaf spinach. They're good for the baby. Uh, what are you having, a nine-pound rabbit? <laughs> oh, Chief, see if he wants some coffee. <laughs> you want coffee? If it's no trouble. No trouble, it's over there. <laughs> you know, I'm, uh, really glad that I was finally able to find Valerie. Yeah, well, in her condition, she's pretty big to hide. Excuse me, sir, but, uh... Did I say you'd do something to offend you? Yeah! I think you're a louse for not marrying Valerie. Right. A phony, worthless, irresponsible bum! I agree. You don't think much of yourself, do you? You see, Mr. Kaniski, I want to marry Valerie. Talk you into it, huh? Jonathan. Jonathan, what are you doing here? Val, listen, I want to talk. We talked last night. No, no, no. We yelled and we hollered last night. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Katie, uh, uh, there's a, a bob that's burned out in the kitchen, Chief. Could you help me? You two help me change this bob. Oh, yeah, the kitchen. Yeah. You and Katie can turn the ladder for me. <laughs> listen, Val, I want to get married. No. Listen to me. There's nothing more to say. Valerie. Jonathan, my mind is made up. Valerie. <laughs> I have to do what I think is right. Yeah. And what about what I think is right? Could we have a minute alone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. I always like to eat on the run. <laughs> Come on, now, bring your nose into the living room. <laughs> What's going on? We're doing the conga. Join the line. <laughs> Listen, Val, I want us to be married when our child is born. Oh, sure. So we can be miserable and then get divorced? Forget it. I'm not going to screw up three lives. Me and the baby will be just fine. Don't worry about it. Val, will you listen to me? No, you listen! You always do all the talking. Do you mind? <laughs> Valerie, I cannot believe how stubborn you are being. I am not being stubborn. Now, look, my mind is made up. There's nothing you can say to change it. Yeah, and I call that stubborn and pig-headed. Pig-headed. Oh. I can't believe the way you talk to me. Look, I have nothing to <laughs> Please. Cross along. Valerie, you're making this very difficult for me. Now, that, that is just like you. You always think about yourself. Hold it. Don't you move a muscle. You come with me. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> Listen, honey. You are wearing the mopping glow off of my floor. <laughs> Do you know what you just said? You said we gotta get married. We should get married. So? In all your talking, your arguing, and your proposing, I never once heard the word love. Now, wait a minute. Nobody's going to tell me that I don't love Valerie. She knows how I feel. Don't you tell me, honey. You tell her. Well, you know that, don't you? I guess I know. It's just... 
You never say it anymore. I'm sorry. I've been so scared and worried. I guess I just assumed. Look, Val, I want us to live together as man and wife. A dollar says he forgets to get down on one knee. <laughs> you got a bet. Val, I love you. All right, double or nothing on the kid's weight. Will you and the kid marry me? Could you hurry it up? My eggs are getting cold. <laughs> so stupid how could I say no now that all that's settled we'll go to the city hall tomorrow and we'll get married wait okay. wait 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 city hall Oh, come on, that sounds about as romantic as getting socks for Valentine's Day. <laughs> come on, what happened to a good old-fashioned wedding, you know, with rice and flowers? You know, I haven't had a good cry since Lassie was spayed. <laughs> yeah, you know, we can, you know, go all out, have an old-fashioned family wedding, you know, more family than usual, but, you know. Are you all right? Wait, you want me to call your doctor? No. I'm okay. That was the best one yet. Wait, mm. how often are you having these contractions? Well, often enough to know that relief is not just to swallow away. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I'm going to call the ambulance. Oh, I want to be married before I have this baby. Yeah, well, honey, I think that's going to be impossible. Well, she's got to be married before the baby's born. It could ruin the kid's whole life. I want this kid to have a name. We can name the baby doctor and it can deliver itself. <laughs> I'm not getting into any ambulance. I'm not going to any hospital. I'm not going anywhere until I'm married. Wait a minute. Married is what you want. Married is what you'll get. Julie, run down the street and see if Reverend Cunningham is at home. Katie, get on the kitchen phone and phone your Uncle Eddie at the mortuary. Tell him to bring some flowers. <laughs> I can play the wedding march on the piano. Hey, and you in luck, honey. I got a garter that's great. It's blue, it's old, and it's borrowed. <laughs> what are we going to do for something new? I think she's got that taken care of. <laughs> Go see if there's any film in the camera. What for? So we can take snapshots of the wedding or the birthday party, whichever happens first. <laughs> now, why is everybody standing around? Move it, move it, move it. Come on, go. Hello, Grandpa. Goodbye, Grandpa. <laughs> Hello. Anybody home? Grandpa, you better just sit down. I'll give you the news in a few minutes. Everything's going to be perfectly OK, OK? OK, thanks. Uncle Eddie's on the way. Val, you OK? Uh -huh. Here's the camera. I got Reverend Cunningham's son. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry my father couldn't make it, but uh, he was invited to a bar mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> are, are the flowers here yet? Flowers? Music? Minister? What's going on? Am I dead? <laughs> No, Pop, you're just fine. The corpse is always the last to know. <laughs> Reverend, thanks for coming on such short notice. Oh, I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I just got out of divinity school. I, I've really never performed a wedding before. I've been rehearsing in my bedroom. <laughs> God, I hope I get this right. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, maybe you should introduce me to the lucky couple, huh? Oh, yeah, it's the young man here who's white as a sheet and the girl uh. who's having a labor pain. Uh. 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 Listen, maybe we better get a move on because uh, I'm, I'm just a beginner, you know. Oh, no! <laughs> Am I on time? Yeah, Uncle Ed, you just made it. Hey, uh, I hope these are all right. It's all I had time to get with such short notice. <laughs> Long Vito. You stole those flowers from Vito's funeral? You bet. The family didn't pay me for the funeral, and what could I get for the ashes? Uh, uh, okay, Reverend, let's get the show on the road. All right, come here. Reverend, you stand here. Katie, you and Val come here. Chief, you gotta give the bride away. Here, here, Eddie, you take the picture. Sure. Come on, Grandpa. Hit it, it's a 
Samantha, either play faster or learn how to play rock with my baby. What, what's the matter with her? She's gonna have a baby. You're accusing me? A man who's dying? I swear I had nothing to do with it. Here, Pop, here, here. You just stand right over here, huh? Right there, huh? You're the best man. I know that. Did you step on it? Oh, uh, yes. yeah. Oh, hey. <clears throat> Ma. <laughs> <clears throat> and yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. I know a funeral service when I hear one. <laughs> and I sit down while I die. <laughs> Sorry, Grandpa, uh, wrong service. Uh, here we go. Uh, we are gathered together to join in holy wedlock. Uh, oh, uh, Jonathan and Valerie. Uh, right, uh, uh, Jonathan and Valerie. I knew it. I've got no pulse, and my arteries are hard as wood. <laughs> Take uh, Valerie to be your lawful wedded wife, to uh, uh, love and to comfort her and honor and keep her in sickness <laughs> and in health and prosperity and adversity as long as you both shall live. He does, he does. Okay, well, I gotta hear it from him. Yeah, I do, I do, I will. Uh, uh, what do we do now? I, I don't know. Uh, down at my place, we just drain them, dress them, dig them, and dump them. <laughs> that, that's it. This is all I get? <laughs> your own father and you couldn't spring a plain wooden box. Eddie, give me my flowers. Pop, I told you, you're all right. Well, uh, oh, come on, huh? Upsy daisy There you go, over here. Yeah, that, that's for the girl. She's gonna have a baby. I didn't do it, I didn't do it. <laughs> do you, Valerie, take Jonathan to be your lawful wedded husband? Oh, uh, that, that means yes. Is that all? No, no, just a little bit more. <laughs> hey, come on, we gotta get this girl in the hospital. You're doing good, honey, keep going. You're doing uh, good. Right, You're doing uh, good. you may now um, place the ring on the bride's finger. Ring. I don't have a ring. Who's got the ring? Ring! ring. Hey, ring. Now! Ring. Come on. Now! Ah! <laughs> now, by the power vested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> That settles it. Tomorrow I'm getting a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs>